okay so what's up babes it's curly so victoria i am back with yet another video so if you're new here hi welcome to the channel if you've already been subscribed thanks for coming back so i didn't vlog today like i didn't i was supposed to do like a a vlog today and i was kind of back and forth if i was going to do it or not because i was just like i really don't feel like talking like that but since i uploaded today um a video on successful habits i'm using to become that girl is the name of the video if you hadn't watched um i decided that i can go ahead and do my mini vlog now so basically what i'm about to do is i'm about to go to the grocery store i don't know what why earlier i was like oh i'm gonna be hungry later um i should probably pick up something from the store girl didn't pick up nothing um now i'm over here at the house like i just had water but girl this this headache and this hunger is past the water stage you know when you be real hungry you be trying to convince yourself that you probably just thirsty no sis i am hungry like i am so hungry that i need to go get food and you guys know i really like you guys see me get the vegan tacos a lot while i'm out and stuff like that and that's simply because a lot of times i'm not about to come right back home or i'm having a real crave and i want it already pre-made in this case baby i'm gonna have to go get the um ingredients so what i think i'm gonna have today is um i'm gonna go to Publix, and Publix typically have like this bag of different veggies um i'm going to grab a bag that's already pre-cut of bell peppers and then i'm going to add me some um i think i'm going to go ahead and add me some vegan sausage and once i add those things together i might put them on top of a bed of rice um i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do so that might be possibly what i do um so i guess i'm gonna let you guys know what i intend to do um so make sure you guys stay subscribed make sure you guys like comment share subscribe and i'm gonna get out of here because my um neighbors are coming outside and i really don't want to speak so um <laughs> one of the neighbors that i do speak to just came outside but it was i don't know y'all y'all be feeling like people be coming outside coincidentally or no because i know some people be coming out because i'm out but let me talk to y'all okay so hey babes i know that i was supposed to vlog while i was out but i'm not even gonna hold you i honestly got super busy and then i got phone calls that came in like i had many phone calls that came in while i was out and about today so i did go to the grocery store oh, sorry oh the strength just to get past so i went to the grocery store and let me show you guys what i am whipping up right now so basically i made some jasmine rice it's not um I haven't scooped it out yet, but I'm going to use a bed of jasmine rice. And then let me show you guys. So basically, this concoction that I have, like, try not to touch my hair and touch my food. This concoction that I have in here is basically portobello mushrooms, uh, shiitake mushrooms, bell peppers, um, vegan sausage. There's some um, garlic cloves and onion. And yeah so i tried to and i need to turn this down honestly i mixed some olive oil a cup of water um some um lemon pepper seasoning my simply um dressed lemon um salad dressing y'all know i love this stuff and then like i said some olive oil so that's pretty much in a little bit of other seasonings like this creole seasoning that i got like a long time ago i added a little bit of this which i'm gonna add some more because it's it's probably needs to add a little bit of flavor i'm not a mushroom girl honestly but i'm trying to start eating mushrooms because i know that they're good for you um so i was trying to get the portobello mushrooms but the pa the the little packet of because i got the bag of all of my mixed vegetables it actually had shiitake mushrooms in there and i didn't know so i'm gonna try if i don't like it i'm not gonna eat it but I'm trying to find ways to cook it up in what I'm eating so that I can eat it. But let me show y'all. I got to hold the camera, but let me show y'all. Do y'all see? So this is what it looks like. It looks yummy. Goodness. So I have vegan sausage in there as well. Hopefully you guys were able to see a really good look. So I've been now cooking this on a simmer because, like I said, I just kind of want to, you know, just like let this sit and cook up. You know simmer a little bit get marinated oh, it looks so good i ain't gonna hold you i tried it just a little bit of the of the um juice and it is it's hitting it's hitting um so i know it's gonna taste amazing on a bit of rice so i'm just gonna turn it up a little bit more um grab a i'm gonna grab a full bowl but i'm gonna grab grab 
one of my little bowls um, and start making my bed of rice. So I literally made a pack of jasmine rice, which I think a pack of rice is like good for one to two servings, but I'm just gonna only have one serving. So let's see. So this is how I'm gonna, because the vegetables are what I want to really top off the flavor. So that's my jasmine rice. Let me move this, because that eye is hot. And this has been cooking for a little bit. Um, I need like a spoon that can scoop. Okay, I'm gonna use this one because this one kind of can scoop. And I'm just gonna scoop out some of the juice. I'm not really gonna scoop out the vegetables yet because I feel like they need to cook down a little bit more. Um, but I'm gonna scoop out some of the juice because I really wanna taste the juice and see is it giving what it's supposed to give. That's all that. So I put a vegan sausage on here, one vegan sausage and I put some juice, so now I can kind of try it. It's a little bit hot, so let's make sure it's cool. It's most definitely given. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop me out some veggies. Scoop me out some vegan sausage. Like I said, I was trying to cook down some stuff a little bit longer, like the mushrooms and stuff. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna turn up the heat real quick. I'm gonna turn up the heat real quick and let this like come to a vigorous bro uh, boil. That way, once I like get those out, it'll be like literally like cooked down so well. Let me try this again. Mix all this stuff in. And I'm like turning the boil so hot because this is the end of it before I turn it off. So let's try, let's try another, let's try a piece of mushroom. You guys know I'm not, I'm trying to, like I used to not like um, avocado and I kept eating it, making myself eat it and eat it and eat it until now I eat it. I still got some getting used to when it comes down to the texture of the mushroom, but I think I can put up with it. I can put up with it, at least that one. Now portobello mushrooms, I don't really eat either of these mushrooms. I think I've had portobello before though. I had portobello and a vegan um, devil crab. I believe it was shreds of portobello, but don't quote me. Um, this is coming to a vigorous boil. Now, I do know that the flavor is wrapped up in the gills, I believe I've heard before. So I didn't want to break them out because I wanted it to absorb the flavor. But I think I might break them out when I get ready to eat them. Girl. Let's turn this off. start putting some of these on my plate like the portobello mushrooms let's try it it does feel meaty I'm not sure how to eat it not gonna lie do I need to take the gills out I see some people take them out I see some people keep them in I know that I really don't want to keep them in but girl to come out so I think once those cool down I'm gonna take the inside pieces of that out but for right now I'm gonna take some of this put it in here and I cooked all this up so I can eat it throughout the days but I'm not eating all this tonight pearl bath this is literally just cooked it up just to cook it up so I can have something else to eat later this is not like the perfect presentation right now because I'm just literally trying to get, I'm like choosing pieces and trying to, okay. 
Okay, so let's get some more juice. I think the, the gravy part is like the biggest part for me right now. Um, but I definitely, you know, just being vegan, it makes you open up your, your, it makes you expand your palate and your horizon, even when you don't want to, because it's like, you don't want to limit yourself in this lifestyle. But at the same time, I'm always so like, I'm only going to do this. So I told myself that I'm going to try to start not sticking to everything that I know, because sometimes I don't want to try new things because it's just me. I don't like to try new things normally. So I'm trying to, you know, get out of that type of um, mentality and just open my horizon a little bit more. So that's why you guys see me eating stuff like this. Not not everything, but like the mushrooms. Like I said, the mushrooms were literally a gamble tonight. And my hopes is that it doesn't have to be perfect tonight, but one day I'm gonna cook them up so well that I'm gonna be like, okay, I can do this. You know, cause right now it's like, it's okay. And I'm sprinkling just a little bit of that Creole seasoning I told you guys about just a little bit on top because I feel like it's adding a little bit of flavor especially to the mushrooms that are more meaty so yeah so now I'm going to try to take the mushrooms the portobello mushrooms and get the gills out because I don't think I can do the gills I mean maybe but I'm not trying to I'm not trying to find out so the um what do you call them the um I should have did this in the beginning but like I said I think a long time ago I might have read somewhere that the the gill the gill part of it carries the flavor a lot when you're cooking this I can't tell if it tastes weird with or without because I never eat them I think the sliminess of this is going to take me some getting used to because I just can't. <sighs> texture is a big thing for me when I'm eating, when I'm drinking smoothies, when I'm doing all of that. And I think the texture is really bothering me of the sliminess of it. So I think like I'm really going to have to, I'm, it's just going to have to be a, a food that I work on. I work on trying to incorporate, you know. You know, now that I know that the taste is kind of manageable, Okay, so hey babes, I just wanted to do a quick check-in. So I just cleaned my bathroom like entirely um, in the process of cleaning the kitchen. Why does my coffee still smell burnt? Is it the smell in the house or is the coffee actually burnt? Y'all, my coffee maker was doing something weird today. Like, it smells burnt to me, but I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, probably because of the, the coffee plate coffee plate smells burnt I don't think is necessarily the coffee my first round of coffee y'all was burnt like burnt well not no 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 it wasn't necessarily burnt it was something I don't know my coffee isn't making I don't know something weird like my first round of coffee I don't know if the um the filters were just messed up I'm not exactly sure something's off um about this so oh jeez I need to oh it's so hot it is so hot okay so something is off I'll put this in the freezer and take the bar out yeah so my co my first round of coffee kind of smelled a bit burnt I think the filters weren't actually thick enough I think I made them too thick because like the actual filter, like where the filters go, this was full of water, full of water, like full of water, water, water. So I ended up remaking the Akari to brew for tomorrow for my um, cold brew. make sure it doesn't smell burnt and I'm gonna wipe off the coffee maker because it smells like burnt um I don't know y'all it's 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 giving I don't know what it's giving honestly I normally once I make the coffee I put it into like a um, container like a, a glass jar and I put it in the refrigerator for my cold brew for the week but I don't do it right away because it's so hot that it can break the glass 
Um, I am drinking detox water right now. It's in the other part of the house, but I'm also drinking this last glass of wine. I'm out of wine officially after this glass. I need to pick up more. So good, I had an amazing dinner. I actually have my leftovers from dinner because I cooked extra so I can have some for tomorrow. So basically what you guys see me cooking earlier, I just added some of that leftover rice into here so it can be just rice in here for tomorrow. And everything is just kind of like gonna marinate overnight. So I know it's gonna taste even better because it's just gonna have the time to sit. So I'm gonna put this up. I spilled a little bit of coffee on the floor so that means that I'm gonna have to act like really, really um, sweep them off in here. So I'm gonna put some mint in my water that's over there. My goal tonight is to actually go through all of my cabinets and like just make sure everything is straightened. Everything that goes where it goes, it's pretty much where it goes. Like I tell you guys all the time, like my glassware and all this stuff, it's like pretty much where it's supposed to be. But I just wanna go through and make sure everything is like perfect, um, lined up and everything. Because if something's not perfectly lined up, it kind of bothers me. So I'm gonna take the time tonight to do that. And then my seasoning cabinet up there. I literally had to take a lot of seasonings down for tonight. But I'm going to go through there. I'm going to wipe off all the seasonings and wipe the counter. That way, you know, just keep it bug free. A way to do that is just doing that. And then in here, it needs to be straightened up. Like, I need to straighten up. But, you know, that's pretty much how everything goes. So I'll be doing that. Um, I was going to make me some hot tea. But right now, I'm drinking wine. So I'm just going to stick to the wine. Um, if I'm up late, which I'm planning to be, I might actually make me you know, a detox tea or a sleepy time tea. I was gonna get some studying done, but then it just like hit me like, girl, don't even worry about the studying right now. Start to focus on that tomorrow if need be. But I think today and tomorrow needs to really heavily be focused on just getting my house back right. Because I've done a good amount, but I have not completed the task and it's bothering me. So I came in here because I'm supposed to be actually mopping the bathroom, speaking of bothering me. So I'm gonna go into the um, bathroom. I made some fresh mop water. There's so much stuff on the floor. I just like keep tripping over everything. Um, and I'm gonna mop the bathroom. So it's completely cleaned in here. All I have to do is mop. I know some of y'all are probably like, girl, you clean your bathroom all the time. Yeah, girl. I clean my bathroom every week, at least once, sometimes twice in a week. Sometimes it seems like it's more than that because I'll make sure that the, the um, what is this on the floor? Oh, from the mop. I'll make sure like everything is intact, which I should have brought that mop bucket because I already know I have to mop the kitchen. So might as well bring the broom dustpan and then come back and get the mop so basically like I said I'm just trying to get big organized um this is a part of me becoming that girl that I tell you guys this literally is what it entails just getting your space back organized cleaning up and things like that so that's what I'm actually doing I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this chair because I need to get up in the cabinets So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. And then I guess I'll just keep checking in with y'all. And I gotta take these plants down. Cause I told y'all I don't like these plants. Like, I'm gonna set y'all up here. I don't like having these plants up here. I thought I would, but it just looks too messy. So I'm gonna bring all these back down. Okay.
And don't worry, I have to stand on the counters to get stuff, but I'm gonna clean them last just so that all the germs are gone. Okay, so um, like I said, I'm just getting up here and straightening things up. All my coffee mugs and stuff like that. Just like literally just trying to, I like to space them out according to what they are. So like all my white mugs and stuff like that, coffee mugs are gonna go together. So, much, so many coffee mugs, it doesn't even make sense. These are my mini mugs. So like when I have my mini mugs too, they're like really small. They're so cute. But anyway, I just have to be super careful. I think I need to get a step stool. Um, cause I, I, mean, I, I don't necessarily have to cause I use my chairs to step up here, but it would be convenient to just have a step stool. Um, Turn that this way. These are soup cups, so soup cups go over here. I'm just trying to get everything put up in place. So the coffee mug. I knew I had an extra one of these. It's been up here hiding. Okay, so it's here. Um, handle sticking out so that way when I pull a coffee mug I can pull it from the handle sticking out opposed to struggling and not doing it that way so I remember when I first bought this this thing was broken the straw to it was broken so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do I might have to just buy a different top or use another water bottle top but I don't know I didn't realize until I got home that that piece was broken I want to rewash this just because it's been sitting up here so long. Um, my coffee. It's not really much I need to do up here. I just wanted to come kind of freshen, freshen it up a little bit. Put the bowl up here. I'm like a stickler when it comes down to like how I organize stuff, but what it is so basically let's see so I've pretty much straightened some things up here I still have some straightening to do but there's a lot of dishes that need to be washed so I mean that needs to be dry because all of these are washed dishes I gotta put them up in there they're dry um and right now they're not dry so I'm only gonna like I said the glassware is pretty intact you know with the exception of a few things but i still have to wait for everything that goes up there to dry as far as i can fix that little cabinet this cabinet has like my supplements and stuff like that that's no biggie this is really the section that i have to work on i have to work on the section that has like all of the um seasonings because i feel like those have to be wiped down so normally I'm gonna put this up here because it goes with the food. I need to, to wash this. <sighs> yeah, so I'm gonna wash these last few dishes. I drink my wine. 
this line so freaking good. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll probably check back in with you guys when I'm done with the kitchen just to give you guys an update, but I don't want to keep talking because I'm not going to get enough cleaning done. So I'm going to probably turn on some music or a vlog or something like that so that I can actually get things done. And I'll Okay, y'all, so I'm not sure whose idea it was for me to drink wine and clean up because I'm drinking one of the strongest ones that were in my house. That's number one. Number two, I'm so tipsy and I'm starting to get hot and the AC is on. I was sweating and the AC is on 73 degrees, so I know that the 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 wine is hitting and when I tell y'all that a little bit will literally have you lit, a little bit will have you lit and I'm drinking the rest of the serving. So I should tell you something. I have my detox water um, over there, but y'all, I know I ate already. I ate the vegetables and stuff earlier. I am so tempted to cut up half of this cucumber and eat it right now because first of all, I need to put it in the freezer for a little bit because I just need a quick chill to the cucumbers. Um, but the wine is on my stomach and I need something to, maybe I'll have to pop open that bag of popcorn. Something got to happen because we're not going to sleep on a wine belly because girl, if you ever do that or you ever done that, you know what that feel like and I don't want to talk about it. So I've already wiped this area. You guys know I keep right here my um, electric kettle and I also keep my coffee maker. My coffee pot is on the stove over there. I still have to, um wait for it to cool so i can put my cold like my hot coffee i have to wait for my hot coffee to cool so i can put it in the refrigerator for my cold brew for tomorrow um but it's not cool yet so i'm just keeping it on the stove now i told you guys in another vlog that i had got these oh i need to shave my armpits but i had got these a long time ago well not a long time ago about a month ago a few weeks ago from ross and y'all these were supposed to be eight dollars i got them for 4.99 because you know your girl's gonna come through on a bargain now i had been telling myself girl you need some more markers you need some more dry erase because that little ranky dank little sketchy little janky little um marker you got at the house it needs to go i had this one marker that i was just was holding on to for so long every time it would stop writing properly i would put it upside down in the cup and i'm just like I have got to go get me some more markers but when I was out in Ross I wasn't looking for markers that's the thing when you go looking you don't find when you're not looking that's when it pops out and I don't know where I've seen this whole thing of markers and I'm like 48 markers for five dollars heck yes if you are a um if you are a self-care slash um goal type of woman you get excited about stuff like this dry erase markers you're like heck yeah I can freaking get 48 markers for five dollars who does that other people who don't set their goals are like you're tripping but i was excited so i got these um and as you guys can tell this right here is a actual glass um calendar i got this calendar a while ago from um target um and it was the biggest glass calendar they had. I don't remember the measurements, but just know it's the biggest one that was there. I think there was two or three sizes and I think I got the biggest one. Um, it used to have like these little gold pieces that you actually can sit and it kind of like raises above the counter. But I don't know, one came off and three were trying to wobble and I just took them all off and I'm like, I'm gonna lay it flat in the kitchen. That way I can write out my goals. So. I am going to transport some of these markers because I don't like them sitting out because it just looks tacky. So I'm gonna actually transport some of these. I think I have a marker somewhere that's already out and being used. I have absolutely no idea where I put it, but there's one that's already sitting out that I've been using. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take some of these markers and I'm gonna put them in my cup. And I'm gonna put them upside down because I just feel like it makes them more juicy to use and i'm gonna fill up the cup but i just don't want all these markers like sitting out in fact i honestly feel like mm -mm, we're not going to do this nope i think i'm only gonna leave like maybe like four markers in there i just feel like if i get to a point where i'm using random markers i'm never gonna know which ones are let's just keep two in there well, one because I think I have. Yeah, let's keep one of them. I don't know about y'all, but I would get bothered if I'm using a whole bunch of different markers 
and I'm not sure which one is almost done. So I'm just gonna keep one marker in here, um, put this over here, and the other ones I'll store like in my storage, like under the cabinet somewhere. I gotta determine where I'm gonna put them. Um, but yeah, girl, cause that's gonna bother me. Now the other marker, like I said, I don't know where it is at the moment, but we're gonna go ahead and start writing out so this calendar a lot of times sometimes i'll put like my weight on here because obviously um it's in the kitchen and i just think you know sometimes putting my weight on my calendar allows for me to see it um sometimes writing out my meals and stuff like that as well but because i have the tracker in my phone i think i'm going to not use this as that anymore and i think i'm just gonna go ahead and use this one to plan like what i have going on in the week or something i don't know yet though because look i'm gonna show you all my other calendar so i have like paper calendars but i also have like look so i have this huge calendar as well um i don't know if i want to leave this one in the kitchen as well or what let's see I don't, I don't think so. I think I want to put this one somewhere else. Not exactly sure um, where. It's so aesthetically pleasing, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. And it, like I told you guys, it has the bowls on here. It has notes. It has the days of the week. This is more of like a, what do I need to get done during the week? So I think I might use this as my weekly calendar. Um, and I may use this other one over here as my um, monthly calendar, like glass calendar. Um, because I do have physical, like, like I told you guys, paper calendars and phone calendars. So what I'm going to do is start to write. Tomorrow is September already. So let's go ahead. Mm -mm, baby. Mm -mm, is this why they were $5? Oh, you know what? I just wiped this off so it might not be taking. Hold on. Either that marker is janky or because I just cleaned this, it's... Yeah, they're barely writing and I think it's because the other ones worked fine. I think it's because I just washed this, like I wiped it off. So I think it might just be, it needs to dry before I start trying to use markers on here, I guess. Let's hope because I have another marker, like the other marker that I used, it worked. So I think that that might just be the problem. I just wiped it off. Girl, look at me trying these markers like hold on don't be playing me yeah i think it's because i just wiped it off because all of these are writing as though something just got wiped off so i'm not even going to try to whatever I'm just going to put the marker in here and then i'll try to start september on here so pretty much the kitchen is looking like so everything in this sink is already washed in the stuff outside of it everything's washed it's just air drying and then if you guys look behind me the counter is clean i don't know about y'all but i have to keep a clean kitchen i don't i do not use a dishwasher no shade to anybody who does but i don't um i don't i just hand wash my dishes i think it's more effective they're cleaner i don't have to worry about all that I just wash my dishes so the last dish that I have to really wash for the night is that coffee pot, but like I said, it's still, the coffee's still kind of hot. But I can't stand when my house gets messy. Like, y'all catch it messy sometimes because I'm cleaning up, but girl, it be bothering me. Like, really be bothering me. I'm going to put these over here. I just like to keep a clean house and it, everything bothers me. So as you guys can see, my coffee is still hot. Um, like not scorching, but it's not like warm enough to pour into some glass. And I use this so much for the coffee that it's like stained. Um, even though it's clean, it's still stained. I used to put like a lot of my um, uh, dairy-free creamers and stuff like that in here as well, but for the most part, I use these for coffee. I think I'm going to invest in some more of these, but they're going to just be for that. Like the stained ones can be used for coffee, but the non-stained ones, and who knows, I might just get rid of them all together and just start over, but it's almost like they're going to stain right back up. That's what I've noticed, so kind of doesn't matter as long as it's clean. But once the coffee is cool enough, I'm going to put it in here, put this in the fridge. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much all I got left in the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna drink my detox water out there. I am, let me see. I'm gonna give the kitchen a quick little sweep and then I'm gonna do a quick little mop and then the kitchen and the bathroom is 100% cleaned, so. this cucumber over here because I'm planning to eat that tomorrow um what else I need to clean up the rest of this little bar area up here because if you guys can see right here I was trying to find a centerpiece look for up here so I think I'm going to keep this here I'm going to put a candle here um I might put my Chanel book there because I've been struggling on y'all know the little mini Chanel book I don't know I don't have that on my coffee table anymore and I used to um so I'm not sure if I'm going to put that like up there with a candle. I don't know, I'm just redoing a lot of stuff right now. So we'll see. But one thing I was gonna say since we're about to get into fall again. I told y'all earlier that I kept my porcelain pumpkin. She said, girl, I'm bringing it back out. So I was thinking that I could put this like on the, let's make our way to the living room, shall we? Um, I'm going to grab the mop bucket while I'm on that side of town as well. I got to clean in here because this is like the worst area right here. This is the area that I trip over everything and nearly break. See? <laughs> See, girl, I'd be about ready to, to risk my whole body falling than to break something. But yeah, that tells you that I need to get things together. So you guys can kind of see right here. It's a little bit dark, but let me put this down. I gotta be careful because my table's glass. But you guys can kind of see right here, I keep the, I take my water off of here, but I keep the food tray with the um, hydrangea. But I'm wondering if I should trade this out. Oh, I can't hold everything with one hand. Let me just put y'all right here. Hold on. Okay. I was wondering if I should do it like that. Put the pumpkin put the pumpkin there because it's fall fall is swirling around or if i should put the maybe i should put the pumpkin at the bar no i can totally see the negligence because mm -mm. if i put that up there at the bar i kind of feel like i ain't gonna lie i don't know if i'm that responsible i like low-key feel like i'm gonna drop it and i'm not trying to be you know but i'm trying to keep it a book I was doing a haul earlier, so excuse the messiness right here, but underneath the TV, that little cube, I normally keep like vase under there, but maybe I could put the pumpkin there to give some fall vibes. I don't know, because I feel like the pumpkin on the table also gives vibes, but then again, it looks so random. It looks like other stuff should be there, but honestly, I can put like pine cones and things in my food tray here and just give it like a vibe, some greenery, and make that the centerpiece for fall but let me look at it from the door because i feel like when you look at stuff from the, from the door it gives a whole different vibe okay it's giving but it's giving very much so okay why do you have a pumpkin on your food tray that's what it's actually giving can you all see i mean it's cute but it's giving are you okay like so I'm thinking under here uh, where I keep, some of this stuff doesn't even go down here. I just put it down here for the time being. Oh, holy crap. Like this stuff doesn't really go down here. But this normally used to sit here by itself, right? Just give a vibe. But I'm thinking maybe, oh, oh child, I can't keep doing all that bending over like that because it's, it's giving like stress. Okay, so this is porcelain, so it is heavy. I don't know how I just lifted that with one hand, but I could put the pumpkin under there and maybe add some greenery and cones and stuff for the fall season because I only want hints of fall vibes in here. Like the color scheme is already going to give fall, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't want like a thousand things in here. I don't know because I kind of want to put my hydrangea back. My AC is still leaking, don't mind it. <sighs> yeah, I just feel like that's supposed to be on the middle of the table, not a freaking pumpkin. I mean, but it could be me. It could be me because a lot of times I am 
doing the most. Rude. AC sounds like a grown man is using the bathroom. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the mop bucket. Like I told you guys, I've already pretty much cleaned the kitchen. I've cleaned the bathroom. Like the bathroom is spotless. Like, let me open the door. So, okay. So basically, this is the bathroom. It's pretty. It's pretty clean, right? Um, all I'm doing is waiting for the floors to completely dry. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna take this mop bucket to the kitchen. Like I told you. Because the kitchen needs to be mopped. And that's my period. And then this area needs to be mopped as well. But it's like I got things that need to go to the trash can. So I feel like I'm going to have to remop the area tomorrow. So I might not even worry about mopping that tonight. Um, I may, but I'm not really. Or if I do, I need to trade out the water after I mop the kitchen. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. Why did I set myself up like this, y'all? I'm about to trip. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this area cleaned because that's where the most of the stuff is happening. Literally just scraped the bottom of my heel because of the chair. Like, it's just uncalled for. So, I really don't have to sweep like that in here because I spilled a little bit of something when I was cooking, but it's nothing major, you know? So. Every time I sweep in here, though, I try to sweep thoroughly. I'm ready to get my house back to, like, so clean to where all I'll be doing is maintenance to where it's, like, wiping down the counter here and there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I told you guys all the stuff on top of the refrigerator is pretty much stuff that I need to use up, which I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put this back. I need to wipe it. But I'm going to put this back in the cabinet just because it's glass and I don't have time for it to fall off of the refrigerator. I should have used this tonight, but I didn't even look up there. Um, when I cooked that food, didn't even look up there. So I'm gonna put this back in there with all the other oils. Give me a second. You guys know I've been trying to like use certain things up. Um, I think my corn, I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my corn to the Goodwill. I know, you know, the Goodwill, it sounds weird to put corn to the Goodwill, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that corn because you know, corn is definitely so hard to digest. It's sweet corn, but part of me feels like maybe I should keep it for a meal, like a vegan spaghetti. I'm gonna keep it. It's just, um, it's just not the easiest food to digest, even though the kernels are small. So I kind of didn't know if I, excuse me, was gonna keep it or not. I tell you, once you sweep everything up, I swear, it seems like other stuff just be popping up. Like, bro, where did you come from? Okay, so. Okay. So now, I'm going to end the vlog in a second. I'm just going to go ahead. And Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and give the kitchen a quick mop. So I've turned on the fan and I've also turned on the little, the little stove light. Can you all see the fan on the stove light? So I'm gonna turn off this light. Oh, vibes. Um, it's Cause you know, when I'm cleaning, I really don't be having on additional lights if I don't need to. But in the kitchen, when I turn on the fan, I need to turn on the light because I just feel like I don't want to walk back in here and the floors are wet and I can't see that they're still wet. So I keep the little stove light on. But like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm basically just gonna give it a little quick little mop. I didn't really spill much on the floor today. Just a drip of coffee, but I still like to clean my house. Y'all be trying to figure out how I keep a clean house with no bugs. This is the key to it, sis regularly maintaining my space and cleaning and making sure that there's not you know what I mean there's not room for bugs to come if you leaving all your dishes out at night you gotta be kidding me if you're sitting here thinking that you won't somehow attract bugs you cannot be leaving your dishes out like thinking oh well I'm good mm -mm. them little jokers will be up at night eating your stuff 
So no matter how tired you get, sis, make sure you clean that kitchen when you go to bed, before you go to bed. Cause you're gonna be looking, you're gonna be looking helpless when them little critters start helping themselves to your stuff. <laughs> you're gonna be mad, but it's gonna be your fault. So there's that. Um, and I'm gonna take the mop bucket. Like I said, I want a mop in there. I guess I will. So I'm gonna take the mop bucket in there so I can mop that section. Once I mop that section, I'm gonna just start working on putting stuff up over here. Um, if not over here, then cleaning up in the bedroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been doing so, so much work in here. Like it's looking better. It's, it's still requiring me to do a lot, but it's looking better. Like I said, I've just been back on that like determination of like, we gotta get this space cleaned. So that's what I've been doing here. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This vlog is gonna be so long. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe.